everybody. I've got a 60 minute session that I'm doing for a client and the goals here are pretty intense. So I'm going to go ahead and read these and we'll, we'll see where spirit guides us. <sighs> they're kind of, they're really intense. Actually, I feel quite vulnerable inside my own heart, just having read these myself. So I can tell that you're going through a lot and I want to thank you for sharing this on YouTube because I guarantee there's other people that really need to hear something we're going to discover in the session today, okay? <sighs> All right. I found out my ex-partner is a vulnerable covert narcissist, NPD, literally a psychopath of the clinical definition, and I have CPTSD from narcissistic abuse. It's been a very difficult time going on six weeks alone in quarantine, trying to work through my issues and pain alone. The core of this is codependency and low self-esteem, self-worth. This is a session I strongly feel would be of great value to the collective. Codependency is an issue so many people have, which usually begins in childhood and those of us who are empath fixers and healers are especially susceptible to falling in with narcissists. Not the casually thrown about word, but the actual psychological disorder, NPD. It's psychologically damaging, literally causes brain damage on a cycle that's hard to break without extreme self-awareness. In this session, I'm open to receiving healing and wisdom to help support me through this experience. Man, I can really feel what you got going on here. I mean, it almost makes me shaky and want to cry. <sighs> okay. I'm going to relax and get in the zone. Let's all be supportive. Let's share the love. Let's all come together and share the love. <laughs> all right, we're going to share the love with you today. I just like instantly just start coughing and uh, back of my neck is really, really almost like somebody took a, a metal pipe and just hit me in the back of the neck so hard that I, it, it's, it's painful and it, it's almost like if you got hit in the head and you started to see stars and almost pass out by getting hit really hard in the back of the neck, it's really odd. Yeah, your energy field is very sluggish. There's a lot of work to do here, but just going to work through this one thing at a time, okay? Just standing in your energy field, and I'm glowing what is like a really intense yellowish-golden color. And it's dissolving a lot of groggy, um, goopy, sticky energy. It's not black. It's more of like an odd brownish color. And it's weird, but underneath this is like giant grapes. It's what it looks like, or olives. Like huge. They're growing almost like... Uh, it looks like the inside of a body, and there's these little pink stems, like body tissue-like, and then they kind of have this bud, and it looks like this giant olive or grape. It's a olive green color. It's more of an oval shape than a spherical shape, like a grape. There's lots of these. I'm starting to feel kind of um, a burning sensation in my solar plexus. <sighs> You have, uh, I will definitely say your head is twisted and turned inside out and you're kind of, it's almost like your, your face is getting sucked into your mouth and you're inside out, your whole face is, it's not able to have a face forward. It's, it's being consumed, it's being torn, turned inside out and everything. I'm relaxing you down. I'm actually taking what is the grounded, um, collected you, so a version of who you truly are, and I'm bringing that version into yourself, and I'm saying this is you, and I'm giving you a parallel of energetic balance to uh, mimic 
um, in order to relax yourself and kind of allow your face to to be released and just have a face forward okay your eyes are in so much pain and anger your skull is splitting there's a lot of dark energy in your mind and it's like screaming without sound there's so much pressure it's blowing up on the inside of your head so this is challenging because we have to weigh um, the way that we're going to look at this. This is going to help you, okay? So just bear with me. All right. I'm trying to tell you something and things are moving again, okay? Stomach is really... There's so much density like just wrapped around my throat really tight. A lot of density in the emotional gut. Okay, I'm almost able to tell you. There's a lot of confusions here. This is part of what's creating this extreme reaction. Because you're try your ego is trying to find a way to bring balance to this. And it's it, it has to do with, um, okay, you did this. I fell into this. Um, you know, I have these vulnerabilities. Um, like It's like this screaming nightmare of... Um, good versus bad and um, I'm the victim of and um, a lot of this no th this is literally we have to sort out the puzzle pieces here because we got a big pile up going on so I need to tell this to your subconscious so it can take a look at it um, just just take that in peacefully okay you needed to hear that because what's going to give you your power back is not to label this person anymore and not to label yourself anymore. Don't label this person and don't do not label yourself. So nobody has a label. We're just like Lego people without faces. <laughs> this is going to help you rebuild your identity because this, this it's almost like this happened to completely destroy you so that you could rebuild your identity. So in a way, we are thankful for this person. All right. Hard to say. Hard to say. But it's it's what needed to happen. And that's why the attraction was there. Okay. We don't. We just need to just look at it like this for right now. Okay. This is going to help. All right. Thank you so much. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. I'm having these conversations that I'm trying to tell you in the human world. But you're like, <laughs> I'm telling you thank you in the energy world. But <laughs> okay, just, just, there's a lot of things happening. So let me collect myself here. <laughs> so I'm saying that and you're already um, having reactions which are really screaming and bitter emotions. Um, it's good. I'm saying thank you. Thank you for saying all that stuff. I need you to do as much extreme stuff as you need to do because we got to get all this pent out up. I mean, you have so much pent up stuff going on. It There's a lot of purge here. There's a lot that needs to be purged. It's like the vacuum is so full that we have to go in reverse. Um, but instead of sucking up all the dirt, we need to barf it all out. So we're just going to reverse it all out and get you cleaned out of all that stuff and then just bring you back to your balanced self. Your true balanced self. I mean, you're working with a lot of echoes in here, a lot of chaos. Um, <sighs> so you're telling me I need the labels in order to understand myself, in order to understand what happened to me, in order to understand, which is true. As human beings, we really need support in understanding why understanding what are my vulnerabilities, understanding these things. It does help, right? Now that you're receiving this awareness, it's like the labels now create an identity that you can become attached to. And even attached when you're remembering the relationship, attached to the labels again. So we have to, um, we understand the stuff, but it's going to give you more to let go of the labels. It's going to give you, you're the Lego person that has no face. You're starting from a fresh expression. It's good. I mean, you're just still talking to me. 
you're really angry that you trusted this person, you gave a lot to this person, you gave this person everything, you gave them your very soul, you're, because so much was taken from you, so much of your, of who you are, your beautiful nature, your beautiful energy, your kindness, your love, all this was taken from you, um, to a level, it's, it's like, how many times, right, so you could have, this is not the first time that, like, your, your soul is basically saying, I'm familiar with this to the point that I am blowing up this time. I am freaking out this time because I am so sick of this. I'm not dealing th with this anymore. I'm not, a, I, how could this happen to me again? How could this, so you're having a, like a, you're having a meltdown because of it. Just, just give me a minute here. It's a lot of echoes. It's not, not just this relationship. A lot of anger, a lot of anguish, a lot of um, the soul being ripped apart kind of energy feeling. Your soul. Because of how much generosity like there's this this generous energy of love pure love that was taken it's like it was literally abused because it was taken in such a way that it is how could you do that to somebody this loving kind of thing but I did it again kind of thing as well so it's a lot of self um, destruction like there's some anger about yourself too Still venting this out, doing a really good job. Thank goodness that you reached out because you need this. Holy smokes. Just a lot of exhaustion, just helping to open up the throat. A lot of screaming in my head. I'm just literally helping your face. Just There's a lot of stress in the face. Just helping you to relax. Winding down, I'm taking you to a scene where it's like um, Hawaii, okay? It's very pristine, beautiful earth energy. There's like a, a rowboat, but there's a dock. There's beautiful flowers that are just growing right next to it. It doesn't seem like the ocean to me. It seems like a pristine lake. It feels like green vegetation everywhere, super green. Um, I start to notice there's like a adorable little hut and a couple of beds like to lay down and to get a massage <laughs> there's some uh, some like spirits already signed up um welcoming us into this massage place um it's to help de-stress you okay really really you need a lot of support okay so we're going we're going there we're gonna go there <laughs> de-stress all right, you, you're gonna, like, you're just, eh, like, barfing out, um, a lot of pent-up energy, okay, right out of your gut, you're just, I mean, I don't even know how you swallowed that in there, but, <sighs> you, you're resist, you've got so many extreme motions going on here, <sighs> you're pushing them down too much, but how do you not, when you have so much, <laughs> All right, you're barfing out more. You're just like, I'm going to probably have to make some noises. Oh, my God. Okay. That's helping to unlodge your throat and your emotional gut, okay? We're just collecting ourselves. <sighs> Hoping you get back to yourself here. I asked you if you would like to lay down to get a massage or if you need to get some more stuff out. Oh man, you're so full of hate right now it, in your sacral chakra. Oh man, you really needed that energy barf. It's probably the most extreme energy barf I've had to do. Sadness, sadness, sadness in the face. I'm still getting my way into your sacral chakra. Back of your head has got some stuff going on. 
heart is really tight. See how you're like a pile of puzzle pieces? We're just slowly like getting this all organized, okay, to put you back together again. Oh my god. Like you're like, oh god. <laughs> you're just, ah. Uh. Just gonna keep pushing energy out of you, okay? Okay. Let's take a look here. I'm still trying to get into your sacral chakra. Like all this other stuff wants to come out here. There's some kind of teal glowing, it's super beautiful, like light blue glowing color here near digestive, lower digestive. It's really pretty looking, but I, I, like what is blocking the sacral here that I'm still trying to get into it? <sighs> really heating things up in the face, throat region. Still haven't gotten you on the bed yet to get your massage. We're still getting all this stuff out. I'm going to have to duplicate you several times, okay? So one of you is the balanced you, and one of you is the semi-balanced you, and one of you is the totally dis just the messiest you you could ever be, okay? I don't know why they're wanting me to do this, but it's almost like I gotta duplicate you more and more and more, like 16 versions of you at different levels of healing, okay? We gotta go to the grossest one, the most messed up one, okay? Uh, uh, you feel like... I mean, your energy field is saying that, that you've been beaten with a board of wood. And you, you're you like a pe like a putty, so you've been molded and shaped into this, like, blob that just keeps getting beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten down with this board of wood. And you're like a bubblegum, chewed up, spit out bubblegum. And you're a, just a mess. Like, you show me that. That's what you echo to me, that I'm a mess. I feel like I'm a mess. I can't put myself back together again. I can't mold myself back to my old shape. And I say, don't then. Figure out what the new shape is. Be a Lego person without a face. Let's start somewhere. Don't ever want to be the old you. Don't ever want to be the old you. Because this is happening so you won't ever be the old you. You see? Because you're meant to be some new version of who you are, and you're never going to get there without all this chaos happening. This dark night event happening, you needed this. So again, thank the narcissist for destroying you, okay? <laughs> because you have to be completely and utterly destroyed to be completely and utterly reborn. And we need each other, even the worst sides of our collective, to do it. So we're all helping each other in some way, shape, or form. That's so why letting go of the labels is good here, but at the same time, I relate, I understand why we're using them. Because you need to understand yourself. You're trying to understand who am I, why am I attracting this, what can I do differently in my personality. But also, again, it keeps you in your head, you see, instead of following your heart. But if I just let go of trying to understand all this stuff, because as a human, I, I'll only understand so much. What if I just ask my heart, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next, heart? And it's survival mode, so keep asking your heart, well, what do I do next? <sighs> Let's see if I can get in, into your sacral yet. That, that teal, light teal color is starting to grow and develop, so it's going up your digestive, up your body, and it's looking more of a muddy, um, muddy color, muddy teal color. Hey, 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 it is coming out. Uh, I'm pausing you, pausing you, pausing you. You have all these other yous. It's like an interesting train. So as I heal the most messed up version of you, somehow it, it continues to heal down the road. All the other versions are getting a ricochet of um, transformation. So you're continuing to heal in these intervals and you're getting more and more and more to the most balanced you. And in the at the end of the line, the mess heals. The balanced you is more balanced than it ever was, than you could ever fathom it ever being. 
Um, and so you just imagine all these 16, the, the, you know, versions of you at different stages of healing. Um, as the biggest mess heals, wow, this guy is doing really good. Whoa, this guy's doing really good. Oh my gosh, this part of you is doing phenomenal. Oh my gosh, you're like so great. And down, down, down the road. So all of them are starting to heal and then return back to you as the most like extraordinary. We can't even fathom how balanced this person can possibly be. And that's what comes from this better than you ever were before <laughs> you got to believe in that this is making me helping me to become better than I've ever been my whole life helping me to love myself more than I've ever loved myself to not judge myself more than I've ever not judged myself to be thankful and in gratitude more than I've ever been thankful and in gratitude of anything in my whole life um, just it's going to help with all this stuff Boy, there's just, I mean, I've really moved a lot of stuff, so I can feel there's exhaustion here. Lots of exhaustion. <sighs> Slowing things down, time out. I want to see if I can get into sacral here. <sighs> it's too ashamed. It's so full of shame. It's just so full of shame and embarrassment and I'm so stupid and stuff like that. That's why I'm having a hard time getting in because it just can't cope with the the shame that it is the burden it's carrying is so much shame, okay? It's hard. It's really, really hard, I know. Obviously at the mind level, Nobody here would ever feel like you should ever feel ashamed of anything. None of us are going to ever say that to you. None of us feel that way. Um, but yet you carry, you experience it in that way, okay? So we're going to just honor the way that it feels to you. It feels like shame to you, okay? Alright, you're really, really freaking out here. But I, I'm I'm just in the doorway right now. And you're going to have to face your shame. This is the shame you choose to carry. The shame you choose to experience. We don't choose that for you. But it's okay because this is part of your lessons. This is exactly what it needs to be right now. You're doing everything right. Okay, this is, you keep blowing all this out your ears and there's like this top, like the, it's like a tea kettle that all the pressure built up and it's just blowing out wherever it can blow out. So it's like blowing out your ears and blowing out the top of your head. All this pent up energy and it's screaming and freaking out and saying don't come any closer. And you're so full of shame and embarrassment and you're ridiculing yourself like, you're so stupid kind of energy. <sighs> Almost through it. Almost through it. I don't know why I'm starting to see a swamp full of like crocodiles, alligators. They have really big smiles, you know. They don't seem menacing to me, but obviously they're, they are dangerous animals. But the smile, I just keep seeing this toothy grin. And their eyes look so innocent and sweet. But I keep telling myself, but they're, they're crocodiles, alligators. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of those. Let's just call them crocodiles so we can pick one here. It's... So, the eyes are so adorable and innocent. The smile is so big and beautiful. It's so adorable, it's so sweet. I just want to have one. But I know it's a crocodile. It Maybe it looks sweet, but it really, maybe I shouldn't touch it. Alright, this is going to get gross here. 
They are screaming inside. It's a divine feminine energy. It's like a baby blew up inside of you. Like literally there's remnants of pieces of a blown up baby inside of you. And you're screaming. Uh, it's so horrible. And you're left with just the pieces of this. And you can't clean up the mess. You can't clean up the mess. And I say, why can't you? Why are you holding on to this? Because it was wrong what happened? What if you healed overnight as though nothing had happened? Would that be wrong? Would it be not doing justice to all the truly terrible things you've been through since this experience? All the letdowns, the d extreme disappointments, the lies, the u using of you? You say, I just, I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be what I always dreamed that it could be. I wanted it to be real. I believe that it was real. I believe so much that it was real. That I, I dreamed of having a baby. Creating new life and sharing myself in order to create new life. How stupid, how ugly and disgusting, I'm so dumb. You, you see? You're being so authentic and sincere, but you can't, you're hurting yourself also in order to cope with it. But no, that's not how you cope with it. You love yourself because you dreamt of these things. You love yourself because you moved in these directions and because you were so full of love. It just wasn't meant to be what you wanted it to be. That's it. That's literally it. And nothing was truly lost here. Only gained. Everything has been gained here. You see? You really, I mean, there's something of your heart that you placed your heart into your sacral chakra. And that part of your heart turned into a baby that blew up. Like, that's kind of what you're showing me here. In order to help us understand the pain that you're going through with this. And you feel like it's so painful you'll never heal. You'll never be able to pick up the pieces from this. You won't. Because you, you, it, it, it affected you that much. You can't, you're so affected by it. It's, I understand, I totally understand. Okay, this, I'm feeling, the, your sacral's finally starting to move and it's kind of weird. It feels like a pepperoni pizza with gooey cheese and it's being birthed. It's really slimy and gooey and weird feeling. But you're literally, like, it's a birth of this weird energy. I mean, it's strange. It's like gooping and dripping and oozing. Your heart feels like it failed your sexual balance. Your heart feels like it's a failure, that it failed you. And the mind always needs someone to blame. It's sort of nodding in agreement with heart. Although it knows it's nobody's fault. You're trying to bring the colors back into your chakras. This is interesting, but there's um, energy releasing from um, the play, the pooping area, okay? Like, like rectum, okay? So, it's like, energy is really tight there, and it just, like, but it's coming out. 
it's like gas, <laughs> but it's actually painful. It hurts. It really hurts, and it's but it's coming out here. So there's energy coming out the rectum and then the divine feminine space, okay? It's like, it's also starting to urinate out as well. It's like, um, obviously we have to go poop and pee in order to get the toxic stuff out. But in your energy field, you're doing this as a release space as well. But also birthing out um, old energy too is, is also being birthed out. So you have energy releasing in this way. Really th throat jammed up, third eye jammed up. Let's just keep releasing it. No judgment against the heart here. You following your heart is not a bad thing. Maybe it's the upset because you got caught up in a lie, right? But that doesn't have to be what it means. It means that you dreamt of something beautiful and it didn't come to pass the way that you dreamt it would. And you fell in love with somebody who wasn't on the same page that you thought that they were on. And that's all this is. It helps you to hear it in a different way and in a simplified way. <sighs> exhausting, exhausting, exhausting. My head is feel like it's like it's burning like electric eels are shocking my brain. Third eye is getting shocked and it's like weird uh, blue electrical bolts. Eyes, there's some purple tears. Heart is feeling a lot of energy here circulating around. Legs feel weak and exhausted. So we're just continuing to put, put you back together again, okay? So we're going through the pile of the puzzle pieces. We just keep letting your energy bodies just flow and speak and release and all that. So hold on. Sorry about the interruption there. All right, let me get back into this. So your energy bodies are talking to me now that they want to come back together again as in work with, with each other in harmony. But your your chakras are really cut off. Like you, they're really keeping to themselves. I know there's aspects that are kind of working together. Here, throat's really jammed and third eye. So they're kind of working together. But right now they're really... Um, like sacral is kind of ashamed of what's going on inside of itself, so it's trying to keep to itself about it. You know, heart kind of aware, but it, it, there's there's something at this point where they're just not sure how to just really connect with each other. You ever have a really bad day, and the one thing you need more than anything else is is simply someone to hold you. But all you have to deal with it is just to complain in your head. And you don't want to admit that you just need someone to hold you because if you have nobody there to hold you, then what good is that going to do? Um, so there's a, a desire to be loved, a desire to feel loved. All the chakras desire this, but they're holding, they're kind of um, closing themselves off. They're trying to be stronger than what it is that they truly need inside. So in a way, you're trying to be stronger than um, what you really need, which is love. Which you know that, but there's still this resistance going on here. Hmm. Sacral's still really vulnerable. But I see your chakras kind of look like eggs in a carton, okay? <laughs> I'm opening it up. Oh, there's eggs in a carton here. There's like an egg for every chakra. They're just all separate. All in their own little shells. We are really helping to unwind you for sure. 
it's it really it's almost like because of so much sacral chakra damage it's almost why all the other <sighs> energy bodies are okay wow that that was weird <sighs> There was something pretty disturbing um, in and around my third eye. Pretty messed up. This is a, about your third eye, okay? So what I experience is also helping me to understand what you're going through, okay? So I'm just... That just kind of came out of nowhere. What is that? I don't know. Let me see what that is. It's like um, a little demon trying to hide... But it doesn't look like a demon. It more looks like a technological spider. That is weird. I'm just looking at it right now. I don't know. I'm trying to find the means to help create understanding of what this is about but the the emotions associated with why this is here are not human but somehow some part of you is communicating these emotions <sighs> and that's why the spider thing is here but I'm still trying to make sense of it okay wow well, another weird image just it's like a weird man's face. Um, he's got a black mustache. He doesn't look that weird, except he has, he's flat. His face has been pushed in. Um, so it's like smushed in like a pug or something, but it's a man, man's face. And it's somehow in a painting. And for whatever reason, this image is really bothering you a lot. It really, really disturbs you and bothers you. I've almost cleared whatever that frequency is, that that weird emotion, that I have nothing in my humanness to define it. It's not a human emo a human emotion I've I am familiar with, okay? But somehow attracted that spider. And that's already starting to suppress. So the spider is starting to kinda it's just the energetic attachment to, to it or the, the relationship between you and it is, is starting to dissolve to the point that it doesn't, doesn't really exist. But I, yet I still see it. This is just helping to take some weight off your heart. I'm going to have to go find out more about the spider because it's still here, so... I'm just kind of rocking because your energy is just finally like kind of nodding its way out of the heart, okay? The wanting, the feeling of wanting to be held. I see an old woman who's just also just cooped up inside for a very long time without any social interaction and how lonely it gets. It gets so creepy and lonely and dismal and disconnected and unwanted feeling I still see that smushed face of this man and there's energy kind of um, hazing out of it And it's like, there's a weird green orb that's starting to push out of the third eye. Like it's way too big to push out, but somehow it's, it's squeezing its way out. It's a, this is a very dizzying type feeling that's coming from this. <sighs> Sacral chakra is starting to communicate again. Sacral's saying something like, I'm seeing how my choices have hurt all of you. <sighs> Sacral says, I don't know if I'll ever figure out how we can be a family again. I 
I asked Sacral, why is it putting all the burden on its own shoulders? Because you are already a family. So you need to let a solar plexus help you and heart help you. Be, you need to let throat help you and third eye help you and crown and root help you. It's not for you to figure it out all by yourself and even take responsibility for everything. Sacral just keeps shaking his head. I just heard everybody. I just heard everybody. And so again, self-love and forgiveness. And don't say that. Because you're not giving everybody a chance to actually say whether you really did hurt them or not. And at this point, nobody wants, nobody's ever going to say that because they just want to hold you and help you feel better. They want to become a family of, of connected chakra bodies again. And the sacral says, I don't know if I'll ever be myself again. I don't know if I'll ever... I say, don't be yourself again. Like, as in... This you, you've always thought that you were, you're meant to have this falling out because you're meant to be new, a new way of being. It don't try to be what you th used to be kind of thing. You should see yourself as somebody who cares so much that you put way too much blame on yourself. Who is so responsible that you would take responsibility when you shouldn't. And you wouldn't ask for help when you need it most. Like sacral is kind of, but it's also, it shows the kind of person you are that sometimes really, really, really nice people, their niceness, it kind of, um, sometimes they need to just put it away and Stop being so strong for everybody and for themselves. Stop being so responsible for everything. Stop taking all the blame. You know, stop blaming yourself so harshly. You know, it's so it's some it's a really good person who has a tendency to, to be this way. But it's okay to work on letting go of those ways of being. You are feeling a lot more sorted out, okay? Uh, tired, 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 tired. Uh, sleepy, sleepy. Third eye, crown, just... I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep. Some about these technological spiders, there's not just one. It's, it's like I'm sensing more of these in the mind area. still making sense of why it's almost like you called them here and again it brings us back to sacral chakra but man i'm telling you the heaviness on the shoulders it's like like a like the heaviness is dropping me oh Gotta stretch it out, gotta sit up straight. <laughs> oh, so much heaviness. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna go to the view of the future that is like 110,000 times um, balanced, more than we could have ever fathomed you to be. I just want to see what she has to say about everything so far. She's just, she can't talk to me. <laughs> Apparently, that's, I don't get to go there. I still have to work on where we are at, we're at in this now. I'm going to pull that side of you, um, I'm going to pull just a version of you aside here and just ask you about the spiders. <sighs> Again, it, there's something about the sacral chakra and the more I look at this, it's like, 
You made a sound in the midst of all of this that is not humanistic, some other feeling. And the spiders came to help you, um, so you wouldn't feel alone or lonely. And that was um, to nurture your sacral, but it's interesting how they're all in the mind, the third eye and everything. Still learning about this. Just taking one here into an orb and I place my hand inside of it. Ew. I like I wanna say that it's really sweet and tender, but it's it's gross inside. It's like a reflection of what this relationship became. Nurturing, supportive, but it wasn't. It was a, a lie kind of thing. Um, so there's something that we want to believe is that they're here to help, but really they're just a reflection of the grossness that came from this relationship on the inside. And there's so many of them, they're creating um, energetic parallels and echoing frequencies that are holding you in that place of feeling the grossness because they're kind of echoes of it themselves. And they don't want to be let go of either. So now they're kind of controlling in a way. And you didn't know you're going to get yourself into yet another bad relationship. <laughs> All right, this is a real thing going on. <laughs> you have yet another like soap opera. <laughs> it's real though, okay? It's like a it's like um an echo of what you're going through. And this is like another story. I don't know why I keep seeing it like a a romance novel or a a soap opera um even though it's serious, okay? But they I keep seeing these like this, something that seems a little cheesy or corny. But I see this part of you that expresses a sound. Um, and the sound brings these lovers, which are the spiders, and the lovers come to help you. But yet, they're, they, they're kind of um, creating an idea. I don't particularly like spiders. A technological spider seems even stranger to me, but it doesn't matter what I think. The energy is saying this. Um, and this, this human girl and these alien technological spiders um, fall in love with each other, okay? Um, but little do you know that they are no different than what you're going through in the human world. And so now they're controlling you. Now they have you. Now they're, so now there's the story continues. Um, this drama, this, the buildup of the climax. Um, you know, I don't know why, but it keeps echoing itself as this like story. Like we have to keep watching, watch the next episode, you know. I know it, 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 it's, it's creating kind of this cheesy nature, like um, she's in love with them, um, but they're not like her. Um, and then she finds out that they weren't really there for her. Um, so she knows that she needs to let them go, but she's not strong enough on the inside. And no, you know, like there's these kind of drama moments. It's like over exaggerated drama, but it, this is a real event going on inside you. This is a real thing that's going on inside you, okay? So it's creating emotion. It's almost like it needs to be kind of like this in order for you to cope with the seriousness of it. <sighs> because you're living a reality. It's not just a joke, it's a real story. <sighs> and we're really, we're blending this into the raw reality, not separating it in order to cope with it by making it kind of a soap opera, but we're really, we're going to just bring it on into the reality and we're going to face it with reality, okay? There's another side to this, believe it or not. She's a bit of dark, um, so once we get through the soap opera and the silliness and coriness, 
and bring it into the raw reality, we see her for who she truly is. There's something dark and demonic, and it's a hurt, a wounded side of yourself, okay? And now the next side of the story is um, she hates you. She hates you always do this to her. Always. And she, you deserve this. You deserve to be um, infested with these spiders. You deserve it. So that's what dark sides do. They're wounded sides and they don't realize that what they're doing is manifesting more wounds for themselves because they, they can't just let it go. They can't let their pain go. So now everybody's got to suffer, right? If I'm going to suffer, everybody's going to suffer. And she really is talking to another part of you, this another side of who you are. You're like a super collective of personalities. So she's like this demonic like warlord of these the leader of the spiders. And she's she's just on and on showing me all these images of infesting you and destroying you and she hates your guts. How could you do this to her? Still letting this energy process, okay? Yeah, your eyes are really dark. This I'm gonna have to let it go full bore. I, she needs to get as dark as she could possibly get just to help her get it all out. Just don't hold back. Just be as dark as you could possibly get. <sighs> man, oh man, there's so many jams in your throat and your face. Third eye crown chakra over this. Sacral is sort of like this uh, woman tied to the train tracks. I also see a strawberry that gets hit by a hammer. Um, you're just crying here. <sighs> Weak and defenseless. <sighs> it's hard on your heart. There's lots of little screaming insects. These look like bugs, okay? Just coming out of the sacral chakra. Starting to feel a lot better. They're literally pouring from the third eye crown area, pouring down a, like an energy chute, a tunnel. It goes all the way through all the chakras here. And then, like a slide, slides out the um, sacral chakra. It's like putting a bunch of quarters into a machine of Skittles and then they're just all pouring out. <laughs> that they're like little bugs, little black round beetle bugs. She's not strong, not strong enough yet to say she's sorry, but she's starting to realize that she was under her own spell. Cause she just can't do this anymore. And if she could destroy you, then that would can that would make sure that she would never have to do this ever again. If she could just destroy you. Feeling better. <sighs> she and the spiders are all fading away. Just completely, just, just totally, the, whatever that was, is full, come full circle. I'm going to do something here. We're going to focus on bringing light in. So <sighs> because I feel that, that you're way too cut off from people, like you're way too cut off and you need to come back to yourself and reality that I have to use this, these words like this, come back to yourself. Isn't there an Eminem song that says, Come back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. You. <laughs> Something like that. 
<laughs> Come back to reality. Oh, the ghost. Okay, do that. <laughs> You don't know how to, because you've been just swimming in this pond of hurt. It's just ripping you apart. When we hurt the most, that's when we push the love away. When we need it the most is when we're hurting the most. We need the love. I know I do it. When I'm going through something hardcore, I need to go process that by myself. Yet the one thing I need to do is just let the love in. Let people help me, right? And so you're going to have to do that too. And it takes courage, okay? Let's see if you can do the massage bed. But what I'm doing is we're just... You have a lot of movement going on in your energy field. So I'm just going to let that keep doing its thing. And there's just sort of this opening up here. Um, what is the gesture of I'm opening up to light and love it? I'm just sitting with that receiving. I'm just sitting with it and I'm receiving light and love now. Releasing some stuff out of your lower back to do this. It's getting you grounded, actually. It's helping you be to be okay with your body, with your choices, with your life, with your reality. Ball your eyes out if you need to ball your eyes out because that's, again, the purification process is to cry. It's not to hold the tears in. It's to get them out. That's healing yourself, healing your body. Just ball your eyes out. Don't hold back. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? If you're being too hard on yourself... I believe in me and what I believed in in this relationship and it didn't work out the way that I hoped that it would but I still have me I still have a beautiful life that I can live and I'm gonna grow and learn and move on from this Easier said than done, I know, but you gotta, we gotta keep, it's, we gotta work towards something, right? And every day that you, you say these good, kind things to yourself, you sit with the love of all, you open the doorway to your heart and say, heal me, help me, and just sit with it, literally just heal me, and just sit there, don't do anything else, just receive, okay? For five minutes, it's every single day. You have to want to. You have to actually say, I'm going to do the right thing. Even if I'm so full of anger and all this, you have to just overcome yourself. So let's see if we can get you on the, mas the with the massage, okay, in Hawaii. See if we can make it happen. Definitely come a long way since the beginning here. <coughs> hmm. You say, I just want to be loved. You say, then you're going to love yourself right now and give your body some awesome massage experiences in a beautiful place. Okay. I just want to be loved. I can be love for me by treating myself to loving things and loving experiences. Let someone help you. Just let yourself receive this de-stressing awesome experience. How is a massage going to heal the ache in my heart? It's like an aching muscle, but this is the heart muscle. You can't massage the heart muscle. And I say, well, why don't we find out how massaging the muscles can help your heart ache, heal. You 
you're resisting again the opportunity to heal. You're judging the masseuse. You're judging the experience that is actually going to help you feel better. Almost got you there, okay? You just, you have kind of a, it's just because this has been very traumatizing for you, because this has left you in a pile and having no idea how to put yourself back together again, um, you're starting from the beginning. You, you have to start somewhere, okay? Start with what you know. I'm a nice, loving person. I know this. I'm overly nice. I'm overly loving. I get taken advantage of. But that's what makes me like such a loving person. And I just happen to live in a human world where people have those inspirations. But I, ha I can't stop loving. And I can't stop receiving love. Because I need to receive love more now than ever before. All right, you're laying down, and there's there's a like a Hawaiian type of per like per, um, person here. Okay, <laughs> they look Hawaiian to me, and they're just asking you to relax and let them do all the hard work. Okay, and they're very gentle here on your muscles of your back. And this is interesting because there's tears of love that fall onto your back and become the oil that is used to massage your back. And the, the, this Hawaiian um, cries these tears of love and there's oil like, um, and then continues to massage your back and that love is seeping into you. And um, he says that he's proud of you and it takes a lot of courage to let the love and the light in after going through such a dark time because it's like you become used to the dark and that's all you believe in anymore is kind of what happens um, so if you can find the courage to let the love and the light in you're finding your way out of the dark and that's what you're doing today is finding your way out of the dark and he's here to help you just like a really beautiful energy of pure love. Looks like a Hawaiian man. Very gentle, very peaceful, patient, no time, no rush. And he can massage you for the next 10 years of your life if, if you want. <laughs> like, that's what he's dedicated to helping you. That's what his energy is like. Let me help you. You say okay. This is a really big deal, this next image. You actually flip over, you're completely naked. And you choose to trust someone you don't even know. Um, but he does nothing violating at all. In fact, he's honoring you completely. And I start to see your heart become very bright. And there's some um, these doves of light that come from the sun. And they come on down into your heart and they fill your heart with light. And he prays for you. He prays over you while this happens. And there's other beings that appear here. They're very Hawaiian looking. And they all just touch your body, just like around you. They're sort of standing around you and they touch their males and females. They just touch your body. And you allow yourself to be supported. You allow yourself to be supported by others. And this is the next thing that happens is you relax. And this horrifying looking dragon monster just comes out of your solar plexus. Like it's a big long snake, a big dragon. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, that feels so... And you feel so much better. You feel collected. Keep choosing loving, self-loving choices. Make a point when you start getting down on yourself. It, I know how easy it is to get sucked in that and stay. <clears throat> See if you can find the strength to just sit down and silence the thoughts and feelings. And then just visualize yourself like a golden cabinet opening up your heart um, to higher beings of love and light. And that energy just pours in, okay? And just sit there for a couple minutes and receive that and cry if you need to cry. Don't judge yourself during this time. Just be completely whatever you are in the moment, okay? And if you would see or some other version of you would say, man, I'm such a wreck, don't judge yourself. Just be exactly what emotion you need to be in that moment, okay? You feel just a lot more like yourself. Your, your energetic balance, you feel like um, collected. You feel are starting to allow yourself to feel beautiful again. You're forgiving yourself. You're letting go of shame and judgment. You're seeing your choices as beautiful um, and getting away from just too much labeling and good and bad and I was vulnerable and um, but just see the beautiful side of it. <sighs> and just love yourself, okay? All right. Thank you very, 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 very much for allowing me to help you and for sharing the session. There's a lot of people that can receive healing just by watching your session and can feel transformed are going to feel brighter and are going to understand something more thanks to you and what your soul is choosing to go through at this time. So thank you very much. And um, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right. Thank you all so much and have a beautiful day.